so I have been to a number of haunted locations and I've conducted a lot of incredible investigations. And most of them have been really exciting. I dealt with incredible evidence, incredible spirits, and just incredible memories overall. And then there's this place. Close to a year ago, I came to this place to conduct an investigation because it's known to be pretty haunted. And I was not even able to finish the video because after hearing a woman's voice, I literally just ran out the door and I was unable to even go back in. But that changes today. You might be thinking, oh, well, that should be enough for you never to go back there, right? Right? Wrong. For some reason, this place still intrigues me so much and I have been wanting to come back ever since I ran out that door. And I have. But the thing is, I came back and I was not alone. I have returned twice, always accompanied by somebody. And to be quite honest with you, it hasn't been the same. I haven't been able to get the redemption that I needed and especially the answers. I don't like leaving things unfinished. So welcome back to the Satanic Hospital. I hate this place. <laughs> Why am I here? See, si, soy yo otra vez. start our investigation right where it ended last time and the cool thing is that this time I actually have a ton of equipment I think the last time I was here I only had my dowsing rods um, oh shit I thought I saw something kind of black in the corner of my eye over there I haven't even been here for 30 minutes yet. We're already hearing things. Okay. So this is the REM pod over here. If you don't know how it works, I'm gonna be placing it exactly where I heard the woman's voice, which was here. And the way it works is if anything comes close to it, it senses motion as well as heat and touch. So if anything comes in and out of this door, which I'm actually gonna put it over here, we will know. Or we could also just ask it to touch it. Bueno, hola, soy yo otra vez. Hace un año yo estuve en este hospital y yo escuché la voz de alguien que me mandó corriendo fuera de aquí. Y eso no me gustó. Regresé porque realmente quiero comunicarme con lo que sea que está aquí, si es que hay algo aquí. Así que te invito a tener una conversación conmigo. Espero que sea una conversación que no me mande corriendo de aquí. Puede tocar esa antena o ese palo de metal, el cual me dejará saber de su presencia a través de las luces y los sonidos. Así que... ¿Hay alguien aquí? ¿Quién me habló ese día en este, en esta área del hospital? ¿Por qué me asustaste? Si tú fuiste la persona que me asustó y me habló, toque, toque la antena o hábleme a través de este radio.
literally just saw something. I keep seeing things with the corner of my eye. And I feel like I almost just saw an orb. Oh. So I'll tell you one thing, for some reason I am not scared today. Not at least in the way that I was nearly a year ago. Hay energías malignas en este, en este hospital. ¿Qué son estos signos? I heard a vague voice come through. Oh! Voice come through. Oh! Through. Oh! I would say that the scariest part of this hospital is probably down here, for me at least. So. Let's go ahead and face it, I guess. Pero no me 
tend to get um, confused here sometimes. But it's still scary when I hear one, because you never know. I mean, you've seen the type of graffiti that is here. So I would not want to hang out around those people. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It's crazy how you do something enough times, and then you just stop fearing it. This hallway used to be so scary to me. I'll just go past it like it's nothing. Anyways. In my original video, I didn't know this, but this is the morgue. Um, and it makes sense. I mean, look at this place. It literally looks like it, not to mention there's literal blood and handprints, so. Sketchy stuff has been happening here before and after this place closed down. It's crazy to think I'm standing where a bunch of dead people used to be. That's insane. You never know. We're gonna go ahead and do a bit of a triple investigation here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have both of these going on at the same time and then asking questions with the almighty dowsing rods. Buenas tardes, mi nombre es Laura. Me interesa tener una conversación con quien sea que esté aquí. Yo sé que este lugar vio muchos cuerpos de muchas almas, muchos espíritus que ya no están en el mundo físico, pero quizás todavía estén aquí. ¿Hay alguien conmigo? Ponte los palos y su respuesta es sí. fully true podría confirmarme su presencia separando los palitos de metal por favor they're separating they're fucking separating Continúa. Sigue 
separándolos, por favor, gracias. ¿Podría seguir separando los palitos hasta que me toquen a mí? I swear to God, bro. I swear to God. I am as still as I can be right now. Look how they're separating. Oh my God, that's really fast. Tócame. Tócame con el palito. It's getting there. Poquitito más. Poquito. Gracias. Wow. Le agradezco el abrazo. Aunque sea de un brazo solamente, pero cuenta. Me gustaría saber, ¿tú moriste en este hospital? Junta los palos y su respuesta es sí. Si usted no murió aquí, ¿su cuerpo lo examinaron aquí? Junta los palos y su respuesta es sí. Sometimes it takes a while for them to do it. Sometimes they're very fast. There we go. You gotta keep in mind a lot of these gadgets, you know, spirits have never interacted with them, so I guess what I'm trying to say is you gotta give them time to kind of get the hang of it, but uh, there we go. Gracias, thank you. I más de una persona conmigo en este cuarto. Junta los palos y su respuesta es sí. Wow. Okay, so there's multiple people here. Oh, shit. Oh, wow, it just keeps going. Están atrapados en esta morgue o en este hospital junta los palos y su respuesta es sí si no están atrapados ¿por qué siguen aquí? ¿ustedes son residentes de Aguirre? junta los palos y la respuesta es sí Si su respuesta es hombre, junte los palos. Si es mujer, déjelos separados. They're slowly coming together. Yep. You know, it's interesting because the first time I came here, I was so scared. I mean, the place is scary, but don't get me wrong. It is scary, but I don't know. The morgue, of course, the morgue, out of all places, is the, is the one that I feel the least scared in. Like, I feel a sense of peace here. I don't know. Yo estoy bienvenida aquí. Junte los palos y la respuesta es sí. That was really fast. I swear to God, dude. Trust your instincts because wow, they were spot on. Gracias. Eh, agradezco que yo esté bienvenida aquí. Eh, definitivamente es un sentimiento muy diferente al que he sentido en el hospital. I guess que el amor que tiene mejores vibras. ¿De quién es esa sangre? Di mi nombre. 
Chills. Laura. O di tu nombre. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus. Jesus fucking Christ. Well, we did hear from a man, apparently, so maybe that was him. It's interesting because we haven't had much activity with the spirit box in the hospital. Like, this is the most amount of voices I've heard. Um, and it's coming from the morgue, of course, but check this out. Oh. No quieren que me vaya, espérate, vengo ahora. Jesus. The thing is, this, this place has uh, a first floor that I didn't see when I was originally here. But check it out. It's like a whole building. And apparently, uh, the first floor, it says something about nurses. But this is a very old building. So it says that it was a nurse's residence? from 1939, so let's see if we can talk some, to some nurses. Oops. Hola. Hay enfermeras que me quieran hablar. <laughs> o oh, enfermeros. Mi nombre es Laura. Me encanta su edificio. Oh shit. Look at all these paw prints. What the hell? What the? Me encantaría escuchar de alguien. Puedo utilizar esta radio para hablarme. Singing. Hay alguien cantando. Yeah. I almost heard a hello. Dilo otra vez. That was two different men's voices. Back to the fucking evil ass place we go. Por qué este hospital de me da tanta mala vibra? Sin embargo, la morgue me dio tanta buena vibra. ¿Quién rayos está aquí metido? ¿Ah? We're just gonna 
gonna keep the spirit box go. Spirit box go. Spirit box go. I heard something say, um, I heard it say complicated. Yeah, you bet your ass this place is fucking complicated. Oh, fuck! Swear to God. Anyways. I literally hear birds right there. Anyways. For the grand finale of the Satanic Hospital, we're gonna go ahead and do a, uh, a dowsing rod session in the place that uh, scared me to death and kind of changed the trajectory of my ghost hunting career. Yo ni siquiera voy a preguntar si hay alguien aquí, porque tú me diste tu presencia literalmente. Tú me asustaste. A propósito, ponte los palos y la respuesta es sí. Yo no sé quién tú eres, yo no sé si tú eres bueno, si tú eres malo. ¿Tú quieres que yo me vaya? Junta los palos si la respuesta es sí. would have been able to handle this but I feel like a part of me needs to confront this place so I know you guys might be thinking like what is your crazy ass doing here at night eres hombre o mujer junte los palos si eres hombre déjelo separado si eres mujer Wow. So the voice that I heard here a year ago was a woman's voice. The rods did not come together, meaning the answer is they are not a man. She is not a man. And at the same time, a woman's voice came through the spirit box. If that's not confirmation, I don't know what is, but okay. So, tú moriste en este hospital, junte los palos y la respuesta es sí. Si la respuesta es sí. This sounds to me like this woman or spirit or whatever it is is simply just territorial of this place, and I need to be very careful because usually when spirits are territorial, it's not good. It means they're not welcoming. 
and the fact that I'm here means that I'm overstepping my welcome and I am probably messing around with something I shouldn't be messing around with. Tú quieres que yo me largue de aquí y no regrese? Ponte los palos y la respuesta es sí. Oh my God. That was almost an immediate response. Jesus Christ. Wow, okay. Tú me odias. Ponte los palos y la respuesta es sí. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is not good. Okay. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, that gave me chills, honestly. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Tú eres una energía maliciosa. Junte los palos y la respuesta sí. Help that I'm literally filming in front of that and asking these kinds of Jesus fucking Christ. Oh hell no. Um, este hospital es satánico. Entre los palos y la respuesta sí. out of here. Uh, I'm starting to screw around with something I shouldn't. So we're gonna leave. Me voy. Ya no voy a estar eh, en tu territorio y no voy a volver. Por favor, no me persigan. Whatever was in there didn't want me in there for a reason and it's made itself clear and I'm leaving it and I'm respecting that shit. I'm not messing around. This chapter's over. So, I finally made my way out of the area. Um, and it's crazy because this is where I drove to last year when I left running out of that building in fear. And I thought, honestly, after that, that I would never ghost hunt again. I was that scared. Like, I meant it when I said I was quitting ghost hunting. I was so scared. That place is just... It's the vibe, and I, I can't quite explain it. You literally have to go in person to see what I mean. But human psychology is crazy because I've been there. This is my fourth time now going there. And I've definitely lost a lot of the fear that I once had to the point where I was starting to play with fire. I don't know what the hell I was talking to back there, but it wasn't good. It literally confirmed something satanic is roaming those halls and I don't know what it is but all I can do is hope and pray 
that I'll be okay and that it won't get uh, attached to me. Um, so yeah, pray for me. But in all seriousness, I definitely feel ready to close that chapter and move on with my life and just go back to the friendly spirits, hopefully. And just try not to put myself in situations like this again where I start to turn too many stones and realize that maybe I should have left them uncovered as I should have with the satanic hospital. But at the same time, there's just things about me that I just I can't explain. I, I can't explain to you why I'm going back there. I don't know, but this place has stayed in my mind for a year. And I think I got enough answers, enough to leave it alone, let it be, um, and move on to better, brighter, and more probably godly things. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, and keeping up with me and probably enabling me by subscribing to this channel and watching the videos. Get out of your house, go explore, but if you can't, don't worry because I will take you specifically to places like this where probably most people won't step foot in. So yeah, I'm going to drive home now and pray. So I'll see you next time.